Google Meet is changing the way it looks. A complete new UI for Google Meet is rolling out soon and we're going to have a look at it today. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now the brand new user interface for Google Meet not only looks different, but it also enables you to use Google Meet more effectively in the class, especially when you're presenting your lessons. So let's open up Google Meet. Here on the computer, I already have Google Meet ready. Now, as you can see, I'm using the Google Meet virtual background and I've already invited three other accounts. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that all the icons are now in a different location. They're all placed at the bottom of your screen and you have easy access to all the buttons. Here I have my mute, I have my camera and I can turn on the captions. I still have that raise your hand button and I can present my screen. On the right hand side, you will have a number of additional icons. This one is the meeting details. We have all the people that are present in the meeting with a shortcut to our host controls. So when you see those host controls here, we can allow people to share their screen. We can let them send chat messages or we can view all host settings, which opens up the host settings. Let's close that for now. We also have our chat. And then here we have our activities. Now, when I click on activities, this will open up all the additional features. Now do note, I am here on an educational plus account. Therefore you will see breakout rooms, polls, Q and A, as well as those recordings and whiteboarding. Whiteboarding is also available on the standard and fundamentals educational accounts. Now here, I'm going to leave this as it is because the main feature I want to highlight is a change in UI when presenting. So let's go ahead and present our screen. I'm going to present my screen and I'm going to present a window. So here I have a window prepared and this window has a presentation. So you can see that presentation takes up a lot of real estate on my screen. My students on the other hand are very small. So what I want to do is I want to balance this out. Well, with the overhaul of this UI, you can now unpin your presentation. So when I click on this button right here, it's unpinned. I see all my students again and I can make sure that everyone is doing what they're supposed to do or that nobody has their hand raised because they have a question. Now, if I choose to then pin that presentation again to see it better myself, I can click on pin and this will make the presentation much bigger again. Apart from that, everything else is still the same. We have all our favorite features. We can click on the three dots. We have our whiteboard, which ties in with Jamboard. I've got a number of videos on those as well. So you can look in that description below. We can record our meeting, change the layout and use full screen. Now, I really, really like this brand new layout for Google Meet. Not only does it do the one thing I really wanted it to do, it allows me to unpin presentations, but it's also a clean look at the bottom. I love how the icons are neat, rounded, and how the interface just feels much easier to navigate. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think of this new look for Google Meet? What is your favorite change to the UI of Google Meet? And what else would you like to see coming to Google Meet in the future? Now, this new feature will start rolling out to rapid release domains the 3rd of May in 2021. And that will take about 15 days to roll out to every domain. For scheduled release domains, it is not going to start rolling out until the 17th of May 2021. And then again, it's going to take about 15 days for everyone to get access to this. Don't leave that subscribe button button red, make sure that you click on it and then scroll back up. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.